In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made 10 boss mules in 3 months. And so, for example, I started on this character, and then after that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so, from here to here, I basically made the boss mules. Right now, this guy was 240, 221, 221, or 220, 220, 215, 212, 205, 206, 202, and then 230. And so, I basically made this class for my burning right now. And it's going to be my main because Nightwalker is just broken. That's what I heard, and so that's why I tested. And then so far so good. And so I'm going to basically main this guy. Um, this class I basically make Archmage, Lightning, like long time ago. And then after that I made Adele when Adele was released back then, and so that's why I leveled her up. And then now they're gonna be my boss mules. Um, I can solo Lowman all the way up. Same thing with uh, Marksman. And then yeah, my. Uh, Nightwalker can start doing the Lomen as well by this end of this week. And then same thing with Luminous um, and Dawn Warrior, they can both solo all the way up to Lotus, but Damon might need a duel right now. But then at the end of the Sunday, after the 30% off, I'm going to enhance lots of them to make them strong. So they're going to be uh, eventually doing Lomen solo as well. And then Buccaneer and then Wind Archers, um, Demon Slayer, I need to work on these guys as well. They're kind of struggling. They can do CRA, all the way up to um, Vel, but then they're still lacking on Lotus and Daemon. So I definitely need to enhance these guys as well. And then after that, I'm going to make my Shadowers, Explorer, Hero. These guys are kind of struggling from c Vels as well. So just enhance it up uh, so that way they can start doing c Vels solo. But yeah, you guys were wondering, like, how did I even get here, you know, in three months? And so, yeah, let me show you the, the history. How I started and then you know give you guys some few points where I could have done better basically so that way you guys can maybe have better opportunities for you guys when you guys are grinding and making boss mules stuff like that and so it will give you guys some ideas as of right now we have minor picnic and this is amazing literally the most amazing like event right now that you guys need to do first of all it gives you guys terra character burninator um which you guys can level up to 200 so make sure you guys make that one boss meal right there for free and then make sure it's the one that's op um i really think dawn warrior is where it's at and so if you don't have a dawn warrior 100 make it for boss meals amazing birth busted class highly recommended so when you guys are new to like maple or if you guys are returning make sure you use this terra um on the dawn warrior out of all those 10 classes I tested, I think Dawn Warrior is the one that where it's at for boss meals. No, seriously, she is so broken. I literally posted this on February 25th, and basically I flexed myself in freaking Reddit and said, First off, play Dawn Warrior and made this class three days ago. Already got absolute left gear. Hashtag easy clap. I was so proud of myself. I had like 400k range damage around that time. And look at this, I literally have pencil air weapon, armors, and all that stuff, and we're able to defeat low men. And of course, like, I've definitely got carry, like, I only did 5%, but the fact that you can do 5% with just this stuff is pretty, pretty great. And of course, there's some haters out here and saying, like, oh, now solo it. Carry? Crayons don't do well with egos. I don't even know what that means. And then somebody needed a proof and say that, oh, for everybody's down, and he could clear up downs by posting his metal history. And I did. And I said, easy clap on February 23rd. And once again, look at this. I posted it on 25th, right? And so technically, it's just two days. Wow, so many haters. And so yeah, in two days, you guys can basically give 5% damage in Lomen. So 100% recommended for Down Warrior. Gentlemen, we all have things to do, so let's move on. Something that you guys want to abuse on this event is going to be this guy, this grandpa. Like, it's going to give you guys the windmill. Is it that guy? I don't even know. But if you guys go to the grinding location now, for example, right here. Once you guys hit, yeah, 100, one or something like that, you guys will have this windmill. If you guys fill this up, for example, let's do it right now. Boom. And it gives me like 50 mil right now. But here's the best part. If you guys use the runes and then make this 10 out of 10 and then use it, that 50 mil becomes double up, which is like 100 mil. So I'm going to show you guys right now. All right, it's almost filled up again. So what we're going to do now is activate the runes. Once you guys make this like, you know, that close and then activate the runes. And then once we hit it, the grandpa will, you know, show up on the screen. And then look at this, 100 mil. 
140 mil, guys. So it's basically twice as much. And so the strategy here is you guys can actually get this 10 times a day and I just roll two, right? So the strategy is that if you guys do it right, you guys can actually activate the windmill, whatever, two times after activating the runes once you guys hit it up to like very close to the end. And then that's what I do and then I activate it and then I grind basically all day until I hit another one. So you guys can technically get twice of the double EXP and then after that now you have to wait like you know 15 minutes to get the runes back for example so during that 15 minutes wait time what i do now is basically go to another account and then do the same thing and so right now i'm just gonna do you know fill this up and then grind and then just use another windmill all right and it's about to fill up again i i still got my minute left for my runes so technically i'm going to you know Activate my windmill again and then get another 100 mil. So I get 200 mil of EXP, which is amazing, right? And then now this is gonna disappear. So now what you guys want to do is like fill this up all the way up to like when it's about to explode again. And then after that, you guys wanna change to another class. All right, now you guys can like stop around here or you guys can do like one more if you want. It's really up to you guys. And then I filled it up that much. And then now what I'm gonna do is change un to another class. So for example, I want to level up, you know, the Shadower, for example. So let's go level up this guy. So now we're going to buff up again, whatever I need. And then after that, we're just going to teleport where we need to go. Make sure you guys turn on your dailies and then start grinding. And then fill this up to very close before it explodes. Now there's your runes right there to activate it later. I noticed that the runes pop up when you guys are basically grinding, when you don't have it activated and so i didn't have anything in this map so that's the reason why it popped up let's say that you're nine out of ten and it's about to explode what you guys can do is if you guys can't still find the runes you guys can basically either change the channel until you guys find the runes so keep changing channels until you guys find the runes just like that so i found one so i can activate this and then now do this and then just kill more mobs to activate it or you guys can press your skills which is right here and then after that you guys want to click the the main one right here and then after that you guys are going to see this one pinhole right here if you guys right click it it actually makes it disappear so what you guys want to do is for example let's go back to the one that didn't have runes in the map oh shoot don't don't pop it all right so we're gonna kill it now until the rune spawns for example so we're gonna basically just keep grinding until we see runes so this is also another good um, strategy if you guys don't have any other accounts um, to use the pinwheel, right? Then what you guys want to do is just deactivate it and then only activate it whenever your runes are back activate like or available. So right now we're just gonna basically keep grinding until we find the runes. There we go. And then now what you guys want to do is activate this back again. And then voila, activate that runes and then kill them. And then enjoy that free EXP. Oh, no stuff. Let's go. Oh, that felt good. And then when it's about to explode, that's when you guys want to use the runes, right? So now it's going to explode very soon. So what I'm going to do here now is activate my runes. And then just keep grinding now and let it explode. And then boom, now exploded. Now we get 25 mil here. We'll just keep grinding. We can basically explode it one more if you guys keep grinding efficiently. We still have like two minutes before it disappears. So during that two minutes time, you guys can definitely explode it twice every time. Yeah, I just need one more. I still have 40 seconds left before the double EXP expires. And then boom, voila. I just exploded another one and got another double EXP of that. And then after that, it's up to you guys once again. Um, I recommend filling this up as much as you guys can before you guys change to another class. And then basically repeat. So really cool method with this is that the windmill is per character. It's not per family. So what does that mean is that I can use 10 windmill per class. So that's the, you know, really 200 IQ right there that what you guys want to do is abuse this and then just basically level up every day like this efficiently. So every day, if you guys do like this before the event ends, you guys can make your boss mills very, very fast, efficiently. And to get it up to 200, what you guys can use right now is from this, you guys can 
get a lot of these of extreme growth potions you guys can literally use it from 141 above to 200 so and you guys get 40 of them right here and then 40 of them again right here so that's what you guys want to do right now is abuse this method and then get it up to 200 right now and then now basically doing this method as well what i showed you guys with the windmill you guys can do it 10 times a day per character and then what the strategy will be using the runes meta as well so you guys can get more efficient exp just like that so now i filled it up to this much and then my runes are you know 10 minutes cooldown again so what you want to do is move on to another character so the best part about that is windmill um can be activated all the way up to like 101 above so if there's something that you have a character that you need to work on for example i still need to work on my cozer but then she's still 100 and it actually doesn't let me go in in there so i think you do have to hit 101 yeah see i don't see anymore so you make sure you guys hit 101 and then i think that's when it activates the event and so when that activates then you guys can start using the windmill and then do that windmill strategy right there so i think i have a yeah 140 wild hunter here for example and then i'm pretty sure you could definitely see it just like that and then start using and abuse this method right now before literally the event expires and then not even that they even have amazing stuff so for example if you go in here and then we just talk to this lady and then you guys can basically do three times a week and then once you guys do it you guys get like you know 1000 exp points and so with this 1000 points you guys can basically use it to like level up your character and it starts from 200 as well and so what my strategy would be like once i hit 200 i'm gonna start using this and then just get it up to like 210 for example just to get the you know the link skills some of the link skills you have to have like 210 for example like you know luminous or like any other ones like angelic buster so this is the also the one that i'm gonna make later up to 210 and use it so that way i can have like level three for link skills so that's what i would do on this one right here is using this exp points and get it up to like 210 easily on just by doing this um weekly and you guys can do three times a week so you guys can get like 3000 exp points and then use that basically to level up not even that if you guys actually buy a battle pass look at this one right it also gives you guys the exp voucher right here um so next week i'm going to get it and i'm gonna get 9999 of those and so yeah and i'm gonna definitely use this um to make my 200 levels to 210 as well just to get that level 3 link skills um for the ones that i need for example the, um the this one from angelic buster and then same thing with there's another one which is from arc right solus and so i need to get that to level three as well so i'm gonna level up those guys by using those um exp vouchers and the, you know the exp points right here and that is going to be my strategy for that one for you guys if you guys were making boss meals that's what you guys can do right there use those two to level it up thing is with this battle pass you do need to buy it i think it was like 30 dollars but I think it's really worth it. Definitely buy it if you guys are new to Maple. Returning Maple is up to you guys. But I think this 9999 is where it's at. That would help you guys a lot for Maple. And I did have done, you know, playing for 54 days basically. And doing this check-in, you know, for basically every day. For 55 days now actually. And so yeah, getting up to here, it will take you guys two months. And so if you guys are kind of late, it does end in June 11th. Maybe you guys can maybe buy the Battle Pass next time since you guys are late and then with another one event right here we click this guy right here and then they will find treasures for you guys so there's going to be two options the left one is going to be guaranteed you will get it that much amount and then the right one is going to be the rng i personally think um rng is very very bad but as you guys can see i clicked the red one because i love rng however if you guys do so you guys can get more extreme growth potion right here and if you need more node stones you guys can do that right here as well and then you guys can can also get symbol selected coupon here or you guys can also get the special medal of honor and then there is a last option which is karma black rebirth of flame which can be also good but if you guys have a good stats on your items then it's not really necessary personally i really think extreme growth potion is worth that just to get your religion up as soon as possible so that is definitely one of them that you should get and so if i have to start from the scratch this is what i would do first of all if you guys don't know how to make level 1 to level 140 and so come to my channel and then find this video and then learn 
how to get from level 1 to 140 in 3 hours. And then once you guys hit 140, I will probably just, you know, grind at the Kerning Tower, basically all the star locations, because it gives you guys a lot of EXP right there. Or the easiest method is once you guys hit 141, then you guys can basically get the Extreme Growth Potion, use this all the way up to 200 if you guys want to, or just stop at 180 or 190 and then start grinding, grinding yourself to get there. So I highly recommend you guys start getting the Pest Slayer armor weapons from the drops and then just get it up to like 12 stars super cheap and then you will have damage to start grinding from 180 to 200 reason why you want to stop at 180 is because you guys can actually start going over here which is gate to the future and then start grinding at the stumps right here and so you guys can start grinding at the swollen stumps and so that's the reason why you guys want to get 180 and not 170 so make sure you guys hit 180 for sure then you guys can easily just start grinding there and has really good exp there and so that's what you guys can do right there and then if let's say that you do have more star force than you think and with the guild buffs, um, you guys can actually get like 25 star force right here as well. With the support of guild, um, you guys can start grinding right here as well. Which will give you guys more EXP if you guys can start grinding at the store lo star locations. And so that's what I would do right there. So I will basically keep grinding here from 180 to 190. And then once you guys hit 190, stop. And then you guys actually want to go Maple World. And then after that, click right here on the top right and then Scrappy Yard. And then you guys want to come over here. Once you guys come over here, you guys want to talk to the NPC on the top, on the robot. And another way to do it is basically click the light bulb right here. And then you guys will see 190 something Scrappy Yard, whatever. And then do that quest. You guys can literally just level up once for free. And then once you guys hit 190 to 191, then it's up to you guys to start grinding there now and do weeklies um, for either doing the Dark World Tree right here or doing the scrappy yard right here as well and do your weeklies if you have damage if you don't have damage then easily just go back to where you came from and then just keep grinding here basically until you guys hit 200 but another strategy would be once again would be just using the extreme potions and just you know getting up to 200 as soon as possible and then once you guys hit 200 remember this trick that we guys can do is coming to the four blast um lady right here and then we can use the exp coupon and then make sure you guys use that and then you guys can easily level up your mule account all the way up to like 210 or even 220 and then 220 is where it's at for boss mules and so you guys want to maybe use this for you know for that and then if you guys are also a pay to win player you guys can actually buy this battle pass right here and then if you guys already have done this for a long period of time i have done it for 55 days so far and so on next week i will get this exp voucher and I will basically going to use this um, for my other characters if I need to get it up to either 210 or 220. 210 is important because there are some skills for link skills um, that you do need to hit 210 in order to get it. And so that's the reason why 210 is where it's at. So for example, like Luminous, 210 is really nice just to get 20% ignore defense just like that right here. And then 220 is a good spot to stop for Matrix right here. So that way you guys can unlock the extra two right here. And so that way you guys can use like more, you know, slots, whatever here. And so that's the reason why you guys want to hit 220 and then that's the juicy spot for boss meals and so with my strategy right now um i have 215 right 212 these ones i'm going to do basically dailies for pinwheels and then do that and then get them leveled up monster park is another option as well and then these guys are very low so maybe i would use the v exp vouchers to get it up to 210 at least and then go from there and then i also am working on my link skills so right here um is the arc i also need the level three link skill and so I need to hit 210 for these. Same with um, Demon Avenger. Evan, I just personally like the link skill for runes. I think it's really nice. And then importantly, yeah, Angelic Buster is really nice for that level three as well. So these four are the ones that I'm going to use probably the EXP voucher and the EXP coupons to get it up to 210. And that is it with my video right here. Um, for future reference, um, my goal is to literally make every character to 220 and then actually have you know at least all Absolab gears as well and then doing like Lomans and then tell you guys the legit tier list for all the classes in Maple Story. and so I'm mean, really excited for this I gotta make sure to hit everything you know 220 of course it's gonna be a long journey it's gonna take a long time it might take two years three years who knows right but then the fact that I want to do this challenge so that way I can make a really cool content for you guys and tell you guys about my opinions and then going from there. 
So technically I do have, you know, like 12 characters. Maybe I can talk about that and make a part one video about it maybe and then go from there as well. But yeah, um, just stay tuned. If you guys are interested in this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe as well because I will keep going and we'll make more content videos like this one. Okay, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for coming and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao for now.